Hello and welcome to Conditional Formatting with a Calculated Value. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. How do I conditionally format a cell when the condition is a calculated value? And I'm gonna answer that question in this video. Exercise one. Okay, the idea here is to use conditional formatting to highlight the clearance items but the clearance items are gonna be based on a calculated value. Now, I don't know if you've shopped at Costco, but their pricing has some meaning in it. In other words, if the price ends in 99 cents, that's a regular full priced item. If it ends in 97 cents, it's a clearance item or it's marked down. And there's other codes as well, so you can look them up online. In any event, to highlight the clearance items, we first need to do some calculations about the price. So first, Let's get the cents into their own column. And there's several different ways to do this in Excel. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the dollars and I'm gonna use the trunk function to do that. So the trunk or truncate function will return the whole number. Let's fill this down. To get the cents, I'm just gonna take the full amount minus the dollars and fill this down. So now for this clearance column, how do I know if it's a clearance? Well, I know it's a clearance if the cents are 97 cents. I would go equals, does this equal 0.97? Enter. And the first one is false, which makes sense. Let's fill this down. And this is also returning false, which is very confusing. So what we'll do instead is we'll say, does the rounded of this to two decimals equal 0.97? Enter. And now let's go ahead and fill that down. Okay, so this is looking good. Now with our calculated values done, let's go to the next exercise where we apply conditional formatting. Exercise two. Okay, we begin by selecting the cells. Now, if we wanted to apply conditional formatting to these cells based on the values in these cells, we could simply go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules and make our choice. But since we want to apply conditional formatting to these cells, Based on the values in other cells, we're gonna to go to conditional formatting, new rule. Here we're gonna use a formula to determine which cells to format. Here it says, format values where this formula is true. So what we're gonna say is, we're gonna say, look at this cell value. By default, Excel puts these dollar signs in this cell reference. And that means it's always gonna be looking at this absolute reference F9. For this to work, we need a relative cell reference instead. So we're simply gonna delete these dollar signs. Then we can click format, we can pick any format we like, and we click okay, and okay. And as we can see, we've applied conditional formatting based on these calculated values. But now the question is, can we do this, but without all of these helper columns? And the answer is yes. Let's check it out in the next exercise. Exercise three. So once again, we begin by selecting the cells we wanna format, conditional formatting, new rule. We're gonna use a formula to determine which cells to format. And here we're just gonna replicate that logic. So equals, if we round C9, and we need to get rid of these dollar signs, minus the truncated C9, and we're gonna round that to two decimals, is equal to 0.97. Then we want to apply what format? And here we pick any format we want, we click OK and OK. And now you can see we've applied conditional formatting based on a calculated value. And that's exactly what the question was all about. Hopefully this helps, thanks for joining me, have a great day. Hey Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my Pivot Table for Beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table, and then how to summarize those transactions with a Pivot Table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of Pivot Tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 